Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're talking about the last Windows 11 update for the year 2023, which is a new build for the beta channel of the Windows Insider program. And the build number is 22635.2915, of course, for version 23H2. As I've said, this is the last build or update for Windows 11 in the year 2023. Microsoft is no longer releasing in new updates until the end of the year. So in this video, we're just going to cover everything that is new in this build. And of course, in the comments below, please let me know what is your favorite new feature that Microsoft released in the year 2023 so far. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, make sure to check out the article below if you don't know how the beta channel system works yet because there are a few changes in the last few months. Now we're talking about some new features that are gradually being rolled out to the beta channel users that have the new toggle on. And we have some improvements for voice access. First of all, we have support for multiple languages and also if we're going into the question mark and then click on view all commands we're gonna have this new section voice shortcuts where we can add a new shortcut which helps us create our own voice command to trigger a single action or a sequence of actions which I think is pretty interesting and a nice new feature that Microsoft is adding along with that we're also getting the multi display support we can now use all voice access features on multiple displays including numbering grid overlays which were previously unavailable on any display other than the primary one Microsoft is also improving discoverability of screencast in Windows 11 when doing multitasking activities on your PC. Microsoft will provide suggestions to cast via a notification toast and they also updated the cast flyout in quick settings with additional support for you in case you face any trouble, discovering nearby displays, fixing connections and more. We're also getting the new features and improvements for Windows 365 boot, the dedicated mode for the boot, customized company logo and name, fail fast mechanism, manage local PC settings and more, which we've talked about previously on the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. Now, that is also a case in the beta channel. And Microsoft is also adding new features and improvements for Windows 365 Switch and desktop indicators to differentiate between cloud PC and local PC for Windows 365 Switch. Windows 11 is also transitioning from Windows speech recognition to voice access and Windows speech recognition is being deprecated. A dialogue will pop up when Windows speech recognition is open directing you to try a voice access. Microsoft also added a banner inside settings, accessibility, speech, as you can see here, ending support of Windows speech recognition, encourage you to use voice access instead. Microsoft is also introducing the ability to quickly give your device a more friendly name to identify sharing to and from with nearby share under settings system and then nearby sharing. Related to narrator, narrator users can now use voice access to open applications, dictate text and interact with elements on the screen using their voice. Narrator users can now use voice access to give narrator commands using their voice, for example, speak faster, read next line and more. We're also getting the new notepad app update which will now basically show you the total amount of characters in a document and if you select some text it will show you the characters you've selected out of the total amount so I think that is pretty nice and also when right clicking on a supported file you should be able to edit with notepad with the new right click entry that Microsoft has added and we also have two fixes in this build related to task manager when creating a dumb file for a process the dumb file location should be selectable now so you can copy it out and also regarding desktops Microsoft made some improvements to help address an issue where the background could be seen jumping when switching between desktops so this is basically it for the latest Windows 11 and Saturn build of the year 2023 for the beta channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future outlooks like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.